Well, at this point, we all know who's taking the field in Super Bowl 53, the Patriots and the Rams, of and course. And we all know who's going to win, the Patriots, of course. <laughs> Rams. They're playing football. Right. We're, is that, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the ads, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, now we're getting a better idea of who and what we'll be seeing between the touchdowns, which will all be scored by the Patriots. ABC's Zachary Keish is here with a preview. Hey, Zachary. Hey, good morning, Dan. The commercials are a big part of Super Bowl Sunday, and at the end of the day, advertisers will have a scorecard of their own. Was our story entertaining, persuasive, and did it trigger people to talk without alienating anyone? Let me tell you, it's not an easy thing to pull off these days. For big brands, the Super Bowl has long been an opportunity to leave an impression. And this year, that's no different. Coca-Cola, known for some memorable commercials in the past, is switching it up. The company announcing it will not run an ad during the game for the first time in over a decade. But Coke won't sit out completely. Instead, the company is airing a 60-second spot with a social bend before the game prior to the national anthem. Don't you see? Difference is beautiful. Saying they want to use the opportunity to share a message of unity and positivity, especially at times when our nation feels divided. They're actually really hoping to kind of uh, use that as a, as a big moment. You know, the game hasn't started yet. No one's winning or losing. Everyone's kind of waiting for the national anthem to start. Mixing style and substance might be a trend this year, but there's still a lot to be excited about. Halftime show sponsor Pepsi is expected to be featured prominently with ads that include Steve Carell, Cardi B, and Lil Jon. Okay! Pepsi-owned sparkling water Bubbly will make its Super Bowl Michael. debut with four-time Grammy winner yep. Michael Bublé. Don't do that. <laughs> then there's Doritos mixing a little old and a little new with the Backstreet Boys and Chance the Rapper. Five, six, seven, and... Kia's following the social impact trend. Instead of paying celebrities to star in their commercials... What if this year in some way it was about the rest of us? The car maker will launch a college scholarship fund. Ad sales this Super Bowl are flat from last year, with each 30-second spot costing just over five million dollars still not cheap but it, yeah 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 you know I, but it would be really exciting this year to to see what folks come out with especially as you talk about some of the social impact stuff and uh see how folks you know push the envelope a little bit right, right? Zachary, thank you yeah, i like the buble it. one though yeah, on that. yeah zachary agrees with me about the patriots just for the record well hey there gma fans robin roberts here thanks for checking out our youtube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.